I get from a lot of people as I share my faith with people from skeptics, atheists, maybe people that are just apathetic towards Christianity. They ask me the question and they demand from me, Pastor, show me evidence. And often they don't really know what that evidence is. Often and many times it's like, I want to see water parted so I can walk on dry land. Sometimes I want, it's the demand that I want to see Jesus Christ physically before my eyes and then I'll believe him. But an atheist was asked this question and here's what he said. So uh, what evidence would be sufficient for you? Um, that's a good question. Um, I'm not sure, but I don't think anything written in a 2,000 year old book um, would satisfy. I mean, I didn't ask what wouldn't, what would. I guess if I had some kind of personal experience that, um, you know, people joke about, like if the stars aligned, I mean, I think Lawrence Krauss joked and said, you know, if the stars lined up and said, I am here. But Did you say joke? I think he was telling a joke. I mean, he, in a debate, he said, uh, you know, if the stars lined up in such a way that said, you know, I'm Yahweh and I'm real, um, that would be pretty persuasive. But um, <laughs> would you believe, if that were to happen, would you believe them? It would. Um, I would have to take it much more seriously. I mean, I suppose okay. it could be some kind of a special effect uh, trick. You know, somebody could maybe use lasers or something. But um, okay, so the evidence wouldn't be convincing, would it? I'm not sure. It's not an easy question. I mean, now you notice that when the atheist was asked if that evidence would convince him, he was pretty uncertain. He said that would be the evidence, but if I got the evidence, there could be another explanation uh, for this evidence that I was seeing. Something that could be more natural or naturalistic. It could have been a natural explanation to the evidence that he received, like lasers in the sky writing the name of the Lord there. So evidence really wasn't the problem now, was it? What's remarkable in the Bible is the people that were given the most evidence of God's existence were often the most rebellious. First, think of the people of Israel who saw all the plagues, who saw the parting of the Red Sea, who saw the Egyptians plundered, who saw water from the rock, who saw quail come from heaven and manna come from heaven, who saw the Lord reveal himself in fire uh, by night in a cloud by day. Not much long after that, constant, Israel constantly complained and rebelled against God and even created a golden calf and worshipped that calf. Secondly, what about those around Jesus Christ? They saw miracles. Some people even saw him be raised from the dead. And even many of those people who saw Jesus die and be raised again by God still doubted. Maybe it's put best by Pastor Paul Vigiano. Allow me to inform you why I'm not all that concerned with empirically proving my theological convictions. For example, as an, as an apologist, I have a degree in apologetics, and I went to a seminary that taught evidential apologetics. And they would argue about the proof of the resurrection, but I'm not, con I'm not all that concerned with proving that Jesus resurrected by some historical evidences. You know why? Because there were guards who were there and they saw the resurrected Christ and it meant nothing to them. What point is it if it didn't do anything for them? In fact, it can easily be argued that the two generations in Scripture who saw the greatest number of signs and wonders during the time of Moses and Jesus were the most stiff-necked and hard-hearted people in the history of the redemptive account. They saw the most miracles, and they were the most hard-hearted. Jesus said it in so many words, it's an evil and adulterous people who look for a sign. Jesus said to people, the only sign that would be given to this generation would be the sign of Jonah. And the story of Jonah points us to the work of Jesus Christ and his death on the cross. That Jesus Christ would die, bear the sin of the world, bear the anger of God for sin, and that God would raise his son Jesus from the dead so that those who would have faith, those who would turn from their sins, would have new life, would have pardoned sin, 
And so we do have a sign from God. It's the coming of Jesus Christ in the flesh to bleed and die and to be resurrected by God the Father for all humans who are sinful. But I am curious. Maybe you could leave a comment uh, and let me know what evidence would convince you that Jesus Christ is God. Thanks for watching and God bless.